All right, let's talk about the Skinner updates, and then I'm going to kind of do a run-through of kind of the Skinner tool, the different ways you can kind of manipulate the uh, and design stuff and everything. And then I'll show you how to put together the uh, matte black skin that you see me use on this channel. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and go over the uh, patch notes here. Uh, just real briefly, there's not a whole lot to be to dig into right here, but essentially all design elements um, are now available in the Skinner to preview, so you don't have to actually own something to see what it looks like. This is great when you're kind of like you know designing and shopping around, um, and you don't have to really like purchase anything from the market or from the hub um, to finish or sequence your skin. So just more uh, more design flexibility there. You now toggle between limited and unlimited versions if you own them on a design element. Uh, the difference between limited and unlimited, unlimited um, doesn't require a, uh, subsequent nano coatings, but it does require sequencers. Um, limited won't require sequencers when you actually sequence it. So unlimited is nice in certain situations, maybe for like a base color that you use a lot that you just have to support with um, the sequencers and stuff. And then you can now directly activate nano coatings, patterns, and metallics from purchase them from the Paragon Hub as well. Nano and then nano coatings are now automatically sorted by hue, which is really nice, really easy to find colors that way. And then all nano coating and metallic design elements can be placed into all slots, including the tech area, which is great. And then also you get a pop over, which is now present for all the design elements in the designer slot panel with the element name and the rarity information. And also you have the ability to cancel postings on the hub now. I actually had posted a bunch of stuff and then needed to like change how long it was up there for and I wasn't able to do that. So they did add the ability to cancel those listings. Um, you don't get, you only get the escrowed skin license. Uh, you don't get any currency spent for the listing cost for that. And obviously the patch notes tells about the uh, login rewards and stuff that are going on for seven days or so um, for components and things like that. So with all that being said, let's get into the actual uh, nitty gritty and kind of like do a, a once over with the uh, Skinner tool. I've used it um, to make my blackout skins. Um, and also one thing is it's, if you want to if you want to build skins for your alts on your main, you to get those skins after they're made to that alt they're gonna have to buy them through the hub right if you specifically are trying to build something for an alt it's probably easier for them to just to just build it themselves and you don't need every skill when it comes to sequencing really what you need is the uh, induction skills induction efficiency advanced induction efficiency and then probably studio management these inductions are reduced sequence time so they're a little bit faster to sequence stuff and then studio management will give you um, increase the number of save designs so my alt really just training the induction stuff so that they, it doesn't take like two to four days on some of these designs and then also if you have any sort of like like over here we have a bunch of nano coatings these won't show up in the design hub because they're not activated yet because they they are tradable. So if you want to actually build a skin on your alt, then what you can do is you can take these unactivated nano coatings, contract them over to your alt, and then they can activate them remotely via the asset window. So there's no need to put these in a ship and fly them anywhere. So like for instance, if I was going to do a design that required some of these for my alt, I would just contract these over and then once I get a session update, that alt will go to their asset window, go to that item, activate, and then it'll populate, it'll store and populate and show inside the uh, studio for the Skinner tool itself. So I just want to make sure that was uh, clear. So, you know, don't be throwing those in a ship and, you know, trying to fly around. Some of them are expensive. Like these Imperial Golds are, are pretty expensive. Let's go ahead and look at the market for these. I think the cheapest one right now is like 100 million each. So, uh, yeah, some of these you don't want to uh, necessarily run out and do crazy stuff with. But we're going to just, you know, throw together a, a quick design and we'll save it. And I'll show you how I uh, built out my um, matte, black, matte black skin that you see me use. 
So we'll go ahead and use the Orca as our hull. And so what I normally do, and right here is all your slots that you can use here. You have a primary slot, you have a secondary slot, and then a detailing and a text slot. So up here, if you click on this slot here, you can select between basic and metallic. And you can also select between only show owned. And then for basic, you have options for matte, satin, or gloss. So for my skin, it's under matte. And then I'm uh, the first round of blackout skins I did was using dark abyss matte. And so essentially, I was just throwing dark abyss matte on every single slot. Easy peasy. And so this is what you've been seeing in my uh, my videos and stuff like that. You can also go with a, even a darker matte, which is a deep void. So if we go in here and switch all these to deep void, it even gets a little bit darker. I do kind of like the lighter gunmetal type, you know, matte. I don't know. I might switch to the dark void. But that is exactly how to build my blackout. And so we can set this whole up, this whole thing up like this. And then we can actually just go to hull selection and then just jump around and see what it looks like on different ships and stuff like that so venture looks pretty good I use a prospect a lot go ahead and look at this looks pretty good and then Mackinac I, I really actually thought about like redoing all of my skins for this uh, dark void but um, I do think that the uh, abyss that I was using prior the uh, more of a light grayish matte looks a lot better in my opinion so let's go and switch all this over to what I have currently on my ships so I'm not using void I'm using the abyss so this is what I'm using right now which I think looks a little bit better being that lighter that lighter color so then like if you go over to the prospect and obviously like you know if you have any level of dirt on your ship then it's going to kind of you know stack on top of this and so it makes it look a little bit more more rustic all right, let's go back to our Orca. We're going to talk about the pattern slot. I don't use the pattern slot, but um, you can if you want. It's over here. And then you basically can just pick between different patterns. We're going to go ahead and set just... We're going to go red on this so you can kind of see what's going on here. So, a bunch of different patterns you can go for. But you also have some control here as well, too. So, let's go over here to this one. Up here in the very top, you have three different options orbital offset and then rotate and scale and then you have mirror so mirror is pretty cool it just basically mirrors the pattern over but if we go to orbital we get two sliders we can go horizontal orbit or vertical orbit so as you can see here we can kind of throw it down like that or we can change it around like this so let's say we do something like that and then we go offset which you have a horizontal offset which you can go move the pattern horizontally or you can move it uh, vertically and then rotate and scale is exactly what it sounds like you can just kind of more fine-tune the rotation or you can scale it out so we can get a hard line on that or we can you know bring it out for a little bit more of a destruction there and we can like you know adjust this probably go over like that a little bit I'll probably bring scale down if I was gonna do it something like that and then maybe offset vertical horizontal to the edge if we like change that to like white or something, right? And so you can do a lot of stuff in here. You can mess around here for a while, um, and just kind of you know get something exactly like you want. I don't use patterns right now just because I kind of just like the the flat black look. Once you have you know all of the mats here, then you can go to finalize design down here. It'll cost you some plex to actually sequence it, and then uh, if you want to sell the Paragon Hub, actually let's go ahead and save this design. Because like down here you can select name. Pretty much all of my skins are named zero. So go ahead and save this design. And if you go back to the studio, you'll see you have some saved designs here. You can increase this by studio management, like I said, up to 20. And then also based on skills, you can um, do more sequencing at a time. Or you can sell more stuff at a time and things like that. And then the Paragon Hub basically lets you uh, look at your listings all skins that are for sale or you can buy design elements on here and then your collection is essentially just your activated skins or your unactivated skins so when things get done sequencing you can go over here and um, activate them or sell them here as well so if we're on the hub if we go to skins we have some listings still up here so if we go to any one of these 
we can go in here and remove listing or we can have a link we can drag this to an alt another way to get it to an alt if you build it on someone else and uh, everything works out like that but works out a little bit better now that you can like preview everything and all that I wanted to kind of go over the update that came out yesterday to give everybody kind of a good idea of uh, what's going on but that's going to be it for this